yeah, that lamp wasn't supposed to fall over. And I'm usually not that scary. I would have been horrified by that. Which brings me to the topic we're talking about today. Scary movies. I'm not really a fan. I have to kind of come clean about something, guys. I really, really love Halloween. It's really fun, but... I only go so far with the scares. I don't mind going to maybe a uh, haunted mansion. There are some places where I can kind of tell this tone is going to get really gruesome or even almost evil. I, I, sometimes I don't go to those ones. I like to go to like someone's house on Halloween night who made a just home style haunted house. I that that that's that's okay fun for me. In retrospect to movies, there's only certain kinds of movies that go to a certain limit that I am okay with watching. I'll just name a couple of examples and I know you're gonna be like, that's not really scary Garrett, but okay just bear with me for a second, okay? A lot of the Harry Potter movies had a lot of um, scary moments. Um, and even just reading them in the books, that, that was you know kind of suspenseful. Another Halloween example might be uh, bed knobs and broomsticks. It's not really a horror movie exactly, but it has a witch in it. Or of course you can watch a TV special from Charlie Brown or even a Halloween episode of The Office. I did read some of the Goosebumps uh, books when I was younger and that was that was a little entertaining. It was a little spooky because I didn't know if I wanted to turn the page to see what would happen next. <laughs> Making this sound like I'm a big wimp and a wuss and all those other things, and that's probably true. <laughs> I can get over being scared after a while, you know, have some comfort food. For example, Count Chocula. Oh, this is so good. I'm not going to finish this video. I'm just going to eat my Count Chocula. See you guys later. I have seen some thrillers. I don't really get into horror movies. I have this love-hate relationship with them. I don't really necessarily like to watch scary movies to get scared. Which is why I don't see many at all, to be honest. But I really do like plots and the storylines of them. It's pretty common for me to want to know more about a scary movie through its trailer or through maybe some spoilers, which I know some of you are probably being like, no, you shouldn't do it, you should just watch the movie. Some things I like are supernatural. Um, you know, if it has vampires, werewolves, I can get into that kind of stuff. If it's more of a gore fest or if it's more of a inappropriate slasher film or I don't know, or torture, pleasure, stuff like that. Ugh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I don't know where the limits are. I think there's a, and I think there's a place for this in entertainment. I'm not the best person to talk about it. I'm just kind of sharing this because what I want to get out of this video is maybe you can give me some suggestions of some scary movies that I, sh I should watch. Things that might lead me into liking the horror genre a little bit more. I think part of the spookiness is something I can get into just, you know, s slowly. And I want to know more about that. For all of you out there who really like horror, please tell me why. Why do you get a thrill out of it? Why? Do, how, how does it entertain you? I want to know, does it really entertain you? Or do you just really get peer pressured into being scared with other people who really enjoy it? 
or do you genuinely like them? I kind of want to turn the tables. I want to extend it out to you guys this time. So leave a comment below. Please subscribe to the Young Entertainment Specialist. I'd love to be able to learn and hear from so many different voices. Love you guys. Young Entertainment Specialist signing out. Take care.